Hello everyone, in this Photoshop tutorial we're gonna remove a bracelet and after that we'll add another one. Now, we will remove this bracelet here and after that we'll add this gold one. Now, I will be removing this bracelet using the close stamp tool. But first off, let's make a duplicate of the layer by pressing Command J or Control J on Windows. Now, let's grab the Clone Stamp tool. So, first we need to clone this, uh, the line of the hand here and here. And after that, we'll remove it from here and we'll clone up the jeans. So, first by grabbing the close tab tool, press the old key and grab a sample. Let's make the brush a little bigger. Make sure the hardness is at zero uh, percent. Now let's grab it here like this. Now on the bottom, like this. Now let's start here, just sample and make sure to move the mouse to the right. For example, if you sample here, just move the mouse to the right and then paint. Now here, we need to sample from the jeans. Make sure to align the pattern. Now, once we are done removing the bracelet, we will add our bracelet. I will remove the bracelet from the background by using the Quick Selection tool. As you know, in Photoshop 2020, the Quick Selection tool is a very powerful tool. Just go to Select Subject, and as you can see, it made a wonderful selection of the jewelry. Now, I'll press the Alt key and deselect the white part here. And then we have a good selection of it. Just copy it by pressing Command or Control C and paste it here. Command or Control V. Now press Command T to transform or just go to Edit, Free Transform. I will rotate it like this now. Just make it smaller. Now, you need to see these parts here, where the jewelry starts. It needs to be on the line of the hand. Like this. Now press OK. And now grab the eraser tool. Make sure that the hardness is at zero and just erase here and on the bottom like this. Now the jewel is on the hand. Now we need to make some finishing touches. First Let's select the bottom part and just press Command J to duplicate it. Let's call it bottom and top. Now at the top, just erase 
let me just hide the bottom, erase the bottom part. Now we have a bottom and a top part. Now, for the top, double click on it and we'll add the shadow. Just go to drop shadow. Distance is good. Like this, press OK. Now, once you are done with the top part, just right click on the layer, copy the layer style, and just paste it on the bottom. Like this. Now, this is good. Now, for the bottom part, it needs to be darker because it's uh, beneath the hand. Now, go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter. Let's zoom in. Now, for the shadows, we'll add more shadows to it. We'll lower the contrast and the exposure. Like this, we need to make it darker. The blacks need to be more black. Like this, now press OK. And now the bottom part is more darker. Now, for this here, as you can see, it has light on it. Now, press the command or control key and just select the layer so that you make a selection only of the jewelry. Now grab the brush tool, make sure the hardness is at zero again, create a new layer. And with this selection, now let's sample with the Alt key. Let's sample this dark color here and just paint over it. Now a more darker color here and now a black. Just paint like this. Now Deselected in the layer, you can play around with the opacity like this. Now, for here, I need for the bottom part, I need to change the angle of the shadow. Now, make selection of all three layers, press command or control J to duplicate them, and now just merge them, oops, sorry, merge the layers, and now, once you merge them, again grab the eraser tool, and just clear out the shadow from here. And here. Now, as you can see, our jewelry looks more realistic. And this is it. This is the before, and this is the after. The before and the after. So, this is the tutorial for today. If you like the video, press the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more Photoshop and Lightroom tutorials. Thank you. Bye bye.